Hello, expand dog. How you doing, dude? That's the content. This no, poorly made. But I like. I, I'm really. I am really. I. I don't even care that much. And I hate to. I. I, I know that sounds hypocritical because like of the tangent I'm going off on here. But it is so. It's so forced. It, the the thing about Eric July is so forced to like an annoying degree. Like I'm supposed to be really upset about this guy. Like I don't even. I don't even know. Like Noel. Noel has the same sentiments. Noel also looked at the comic book. He looked at the whole comic book and then looked at Vito's leaked script of his comic. But it's like it just. It's just a bunch of forced nonsense. Like, I don't give a fuck about this shit. I don't want to pretend like I have to give up. That's the annoying thing. Uh, like. Uh, imagine you're in that you're in that sphere you're in that sector and you have to hate this person because dick masterson told you to hate him it's so stupid why should i there's nothing in the comic book that's offensive it's just a comic book yeah eric july's just a normal entrepreneur i truly think it's just he's a successful black man in their sphere because Vito Vito did not do anything with comic books before the Eric July stuff. The, Vito had no aspirations of making comic books. His whole thing was that he was. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> he killed himself. Ack, 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 ack. Nice flying moron. But yeah, Vito was never about comic books. Never about comic books. The whole thing with Vito Guzzualdi, whatever the hell his fucking name is, was that he was just gonna be a comedian. That's why he's in the Dick Masterson sphere. Because Dick Masterson also wants to be a fucking comedian. They all wanna live the Hollywood style and live the, their fucking Hollywood crack shacks that they call mansions. And that's why Ethan Ralph was also drawn in by them. They wanted to be comedians. They didn't want to be comic book people. But then they saw, for some reason, because they, I, they had some entanglement with the Rakata Sphere, who Air July, Air July comes from the Rakata Sphere. They had to cross over with the Rakata Sphere. So they see like this guy having a successful comic book. And it's supposed to be like, whoa, well, we can't have successful black people, uh, even if they're like on our side, because like uh, it's woke or something. <laughs> and they just read it and they call it unfunny and mediocre. And it is unfunny and mediocre. But the issue that I have is that it's really forced. Their hatred of it is forced to an extent to where, for me, it's not believable. And it seems to be available for, like, the real reason, which is just that he's a successful black man. It doesn't matter that he's on our side or anything. We just have to hate him. And I think that's very, it's very cringe. Like, I don't care about it. So your pyknosis to make me want to care about your little fucking drama, your high school drama, is not really effective on me. Not that I listen to Dick Masterson anyway. Yeah, Vito got famous for yelling at Star Wars, and now he's a co-host for Dick Masterson. He's critical of characters in comics, uh, critical of Marvel and DC's critical of new black characters in comics, so they're painting a picture for him. It's really a nothing burger. It's an annoying burger. I don't want this fucking burger. This burger has nothing but air on it. I'm being pignotized here. I saw Ethan Van Skyver was on Rackets last night too. I don't know what that dude's deal with his, his. I don't know what his relationship chart is looking like with the current people in his sphere. Um, whenever I was following Comics Gate, and I've talked about it before, I only was interested in Comics Gate. I didn't give a fuck about comics at all growing up. I didn't own any. Um, well, besides the ones that were given out by the Navy for Military Appreciation Day. Uh, those ones were free. But come on, that was like non-canon shit. But... I, I, I liked it because the people that I watched, like Diversity in Comics, who has no part in any of this fucking drama, by the way, big ups to him. But Diversity in Comics would give me, he, he knew a lot about comics. So it was like getting the perspective of SJWs uh, infiltrating into like a, a, a sector of entertainment. And it was a perspective given by someone who was knowledge in the field. So it was like how you watch videos about some, a subject you know nothing about. But the person you're watching is so knowledge in it that you're able to watch it and derive enjoyment from it because the person knows so much about the subject. Like uh, like when you watch videos about, I don't know, the space-time continuum and shit. You watch videos about space and all that. Not, you know, you don't know nothing about space. But the person you're watching talked about space knows a lot about space. Therefore, uh, you feel like you can get enjoyment out of it, maybe even learn a thing or two. And it was just interesting for me. And that guy, Diversity in Comics 2, was also able to uh, crowdfund money for his own comics. But unlike fucking Vito, uh, one, he always wanted to make his own comic, and two, he fucking delivered on it. I haven't seen Vito's comic yet. Have you seen Vito's comic? I haven't seen Vito's comic at all. And it seems like all he cares about is going on Locale Live! Man, who wants to hear about his bullshit comic book, Matt? No one! Exactly! By the way, I agree, PPP! This is why...